That was the final song recorded by Mindy McCreary before her tragic death, apparently a suicide. It's called I'll See You Yesterday, and it was released the day the troubled country star killed herself at her Arkansas home. But this is more than just Mindy's uh, final song. Tonight, Showbiz Tonight brings you Mindy's friend and collaborator who is now saying this song was her suicide. Welcome back to Showbiz Tonight. We've heard plenty about Mindy McCready's troubles in her, finals day, in her final days, the devastating apparent suicide of her boyfriend just weeks earlier, lingering custody battles over her two small boys, and of course, her lifelong struggles with addiction. Now today, we're hearing that the last song in her musical career may have actually been her suicide note. The sad irony, it was a song meant to raise awareness for suicide prevention. Private investigator Dan O'Hanks of Backstreet Investigations worked with Mindy on that song and was a friend. He's with us here tonight in Hollywood for a Showbiz Newsmaker interview. First of all, we are sorry for your loss and thank you for joining us here today. Um, well, I'm glad to get uh, the story about how yeah. Mindy really was out because yeah. there's a lot of rumors. Yeah, and there are a lot of stories. There, you know, and uh, so I'd, I'd like to, you know, let people know what she was really about. Daniel, let me ask you, do you, you helped Mindy release this song, and why do you think now that this could have been her suicide note, or this was? Well, during, I was on the phone constantly with her for the last three or four days of her life, and uh, she had, first she had wanted to get the, the song itself to be released, because it was the last song that she and David Wilson had done together uh, and before she was talking about it being an anti-suicide message, she wanted to get the song released to, so that uh, people would know what kind of uh, a producer David was and to get the song out there. So she had asked me to try to reach out to Ryan Seacrest. And it isn't like I have him on speed dial. And I told her at the time, I said, well, uh, the only contact I have is through Dick Clark. I used to work for... Clark and, and but why why do you think this was her suicide but, well that 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 is after her uh, attempts to fail to get it to Ryan Seacrest mm. she says well let's let's make this uh, public service announcement an anti-suicide announcement I want you to put together a little video for me because I had the software to do that she said I'm gonna send you some pictures of us together and uh, and then at the end I want you to put a put a, a frame on there and I'll send you a screen grab from a, a group called suicideispreventable.org and it'll it'll make people more aware of suicide. Mm -hmm. What I didn't realize at the time is that, is that what, as she was having me assemble this and make put this video together and it, just, it hit me after her suicide is that she was already planning to commit suicide. This was her goodbye letter. And this she was her goodbye letter. Okay. And she felt, she felt that the one way that this message would get all the publicity she ever wanted for it was when she killed herself. Now, you were one of the last people to talk to Mindy. You recorded the last call you had with her on Saturday with her consent, by the right. way. And, and in it, she was still really broken up about finding her boyfriend, David Wilson, dead. Apparently, he took his own life as well just weeks earlier. So let's listen to part of that, okay? Okay. That's actually really hard to hear and hard to listen to. You can hear the pain in her voice. Did she say anything else to you in that final conversation that makes you think maybe she knew this was the last time you guys would talk? Well, the 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 thing that is 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 there's some conversations that are not on the tape because I like ran out of room uh, towards the last part of the conversation with I that I had with her. We talked about getting the video posted, you know, because I had uploaded it to YouTube as a private link where only she could see it, and she had sent, asked me to send a link to the songwriter uh, and to Sean Carnes, who was a, a friend of hers that was helping her getting the rights released and all that. And uh, 
I said, so when do you want to go ahead and release it? I mean, do I, or, uh, will you get notified by the rights people or whatever? And her response was, you'll know when to release it. Hmm. And I thought, what the hell does that mean? Can I ask you a quick question? Why tape the conversation? Is that just something you do as a private oh, investigator? Oh, as an investigator, I work with a lot of attorneys, uh, I, I, and I am terrible at taking notes. Okay. And to me, it's just much easier to to tape record. And I always tell them, I'm going to tape. Is it okay if I tape record okay. this conversation? Now, I didn't tape every conversation, uh, but I, you know, the last couple of days, she had gotten, uh, she was she was distressed a lot. And she had wanted me to reach out and get get another attorney on her case. Mm -hmm. And here I am. I'm making calls, uh, cold calls to this attorney in in uh, Arkansas, who doesn't know me from Adam. Right. And I'm trying to tell him, well, I'm I'm Mindy McCready's uh, private investigator, and she wants you to take her case. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted him to know that. I had the authorization for Mindy, so I played the tape for the attorney. Oh, gotcha. okay, yeah, well, you know, okay. you know, you're, you're legitimate, you know, because, you know, you get some you, you, some guy calling you at an Arkansas law firm right. saying you're Mindy McCready's private investigator, you know, work on his case. So it, it, that was one of the reasons right. I had done it. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Dana. We appreciate your time today. And again, we're sorry about the loss of your friend. Very tragic. Uh, I'm I'm sorry too. I hope the message gets out there though. Me too. Thank you.